Today on the North American Journeyman, we attempt to avenge our only loss since taking over at Alohulenzi against Saprissa. Then we enter the knockouts of the Central American Cup. It's a triple header, so let's jump right in. Yeah, things have been going pretty well. We've been doing nothing but winning. We had one draw here against a bad Sporting FC side. But it's been looking pretty good. Today, Saprissa at home, and then Central American Cup knockouts against Real Esteli from Nicaragua. Today, the closing window just closed. The closing window, the transfer window, just closed and I decided last second to pull the trigger on that striker Torres from a Herediano. And some other weird things happened as well. Um, I found out that we are an affiliate club to Real Madrid. So a couple of their youngsters are on offer. None of the really, really good ones, because they want to play with higher quality players or whatever. But we brought in, first of all, I'll show you, we brought in a striker from a second division side, Pablo Rogero. Rejuero. He looks pretty decent. Three concentration has me a bit bothered, and he's injury prone, and he's got three long shots for a striker. He hasn't done good as a backup, but he's got, looks like a bit of potential, and he's technical and stuff like that, so we brought him in, and then I noticed the Real Madrid thing. We brought in the center back, Stephen Jones. We're not paying any of his salary. Unfortunately, I decided not to register him, so he's just hanging out. Because this guy showed up in the scouting report, Emmanuel David, Nigerian, another left back, but we're gonna try and slot this guy in somewhere because he looks really good. He's got all the physicals. He's like a clone, but better probably, of David with more technicals. I'm going to try and train him as a defensive midfielder, maybe a center midfielder, maybe inverted right back. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to work this guy in, but he looks like a beast. So we decided to just go ahead and offer him a contract. It's only 146k. I think he's got minimum fee release clause that he locked in on 1.2 million, but it is what it is. And then last second, we decided to pull the trigger and go ahead in for Jorge Torres. The striker from Herediano, who's just going off this season. Um, I'm actually going to train him out here as an inside forward. And when I brought him in, I pissed off Marlon Salazar. So I promised him that we, he wasn't going to lose any game time. Because look, he's got 10 goals, 3 assists, and 9 appearances in the league. He's bossing it. So we're going to stick with him for now. So we've got a very deep team. And unfortunately, I couldn't even register Stephen Jones, so maybe we're a little bit thin in the center back position, but we're absolutely stacked at left back. Right back is okay. Center midfielders are all good. I mean, we're ready to go. So we, we're playing three games, so let's go ahead and, and get going here. We need to try and turn things around on Saprissa. Torres isn't super fit, but we're going to... Give him his introduction late in the game today. These guys are... They've dropped a couple games in the league. But since then, they've really been in good form. So we'll see what we can do. We're at home today. It looks like they've gone into a 4-4-2. I don't remember if they played that last time. I think they did, actually. They sold a couple of their players. They had another striker that they sold, I think, to a Mexican side. This guy I really want to bring in, Jimmy Espinosa, left winger. But he doesn't want to leave his favored Saprissa, so. Packed stance today. It's the Costa Rican Derby. Last time we really couldn't create anything against these guys, so hopefully we can do a little something better. There's Espinosa, the guy we were looking at, drives inside. And just rips a shot on Solis, who still hasn't really looked like 
a number one goalkeeper for us. It's been one of our major issues. Here we go, though. Attacking corner. Can we come back on him? Good header off the crossbar. Laura heads it out. Montenegro, can you do anything with it? Nope. Highlight's probably going to end here unless Neves can do something. He's not really a goal scorer. Yeah, he does not like taking shots. And we lose it out to Sands. Well, if we lose, we're still top of the table. Here we go, another attacking corner. This time, no. To the top of the box, though. Toch. Mario. Neves does take a shot and scores it. Only his second of the season. Real nice shot low down, and we've drawn level with Saprisa. Neves not really known for his goal scoring. But this one, he looked convinced. Boom! He's calling for it. He's calling for it like Tyler Adams against Mexico. Give me the ball. I'm going to score this one. See if we can defend this, though. It's up to Montenegro. Good header out. Let's see what we can do here defensively. Dogs are going off. They're super excited about the derby. He saw the Thorno Tushcero's just in tons of space. Two to one, Saprisa. Might get fired if I can't perform against. I mean, this is way different than the first game against these guys. I mean, this is just highlight after highlight. Definitely the major threat in all of the competitions we'll play. Good from Neves, holding it in. There we go, Hall. Nice job, good pressure here. Toch is in a really good spot. Really good save from Chamorro. Yeah, this game looks a lot more attacking than the first contest between these two teams. Toch. Neves. <sighs> Good effort there from Neves. Solis is nervous, I think. Because he hasn't played good. Since I decided to give him the starter spot and cut the other goalkeeper loose, we weren't going to be able to register him anyways. Right, Suarez in the number 10 spot isn't playing too good. Smith on the right wing, crosses it into Sands. Good header out. Maria should take that down. He does. That's a really good ball out. Somebody wants to take it. Suarez does. Can he get across into Salazar? He can. Salazar gets the header on it. Beautiful build-up play. A little counterattack. I was like, do either of you guys are like, hey, you you want it? No, no, you want it? Okay, Suarez. Really good ball in. Ooh, just beats the man to it. Jamie. Jaime. Who I was taking a look at. He's a Costa Rican international. Decent center back. I'm not sure who Lara is. Oh, Mexican. Oh yeah, the other the other really good center back in the league. And then Wilson is Costa Rican international as well. Center midfielder. I mean, we've outplayed him. Just our goalkeeper situation, I think. Both of their shots were just scorchers, though. I didn't really expect him to make the save. Can we get a third before halftime? <laughs> Toch scores it. Chamorro doesn't like to get on the ground. Three to two. The supporters would be going nuts in the stands if this was the case. Suarez just square ball to touch. First time. Look, yeah, deflected off the defender. And ends up in the back of the net. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take the three to two at half. Montenegro's not playing too good. He's just begging to come out for the introduction of Torres. Torres probably can't go a full second half, though, so probably be more like a 
65th, 70th minute substitution. Suarez, can he play Salazar through? Doesn't quite work. Please not a 3-3 before halftime. All the space there. Good tracking back from Toch there, though, in the midfield. There we go. Over the top. No. Suarez. Salazar. To Murillo. He's got a bunch of assists this season. Martinez. That's a penalty. Yeah. We'll take it. Salazar hasn't been good from the spot. I haven't changed him out, though. He scores it, though. I think he's about 50% maybe now. He's like four for eight, maybe four for nine from the spot. But that one, just power, and it's four to two. First half. I mean, I'm pleased we've created a load, so let's just keep it going. Then we'll probably switch up into... Oh, we've created three tactics, by the way. We have one that's even more attacking than this. And then one that's more defensive. I'll show you those other ones here once we make the change. Should we bring him on? He's coming off a little bit of a knock. Jorge Torres crossed in. Neves header in. It's 5-2. to two. We're going to go ahead and make the change now. I feel like this is, the, this is the point in the game where we can change it up. So we have this, ta this tactic, which I've played in one game. I think we won it 6-3. to three. But this is the defensive tactic. So we're probably going to go like this. Take Suarez out. We're going to bring in... David, who's learning this position, so it's probably not super smart to do this. Also, this should probably be a complete wing back on support. We change that. And Jorge Torres is going to go ahead and come in. He's tired, but everyone wants to see him. 5 2. How you like that, Saprisa? How you like that? Neves on a 9.6. Herediano's losing to Punta Arenas. It looks pretty good this year. They've got one of our center backs on loan, youngster, so he could get more game time. I might actually recall him because we're a little bit thin in that position now. Then they've got another center back that we're taking a look at. Martinez is dead. Can Villalobos play right back? Not really. I think Penuelas can. No. Alvarez? Shoot. Yeah, that's another problem. Nobody can really play right back. But Martinez is kind of dead. We'll do that. I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm okay with that. We can slow it up here and just close this game out. Or if we want to score a sixth. Wouldn't be the first time this season. David Salazar Toch in space takes it and it's six to two. I mean, don't don't upset the purple monster too much. But hey, when you're at home and you got a chance to rub it in the face of your rival after they took silverware off of us in our very first game, yeah, we're gonna take the six to two. Seven to two. Salazar's threw in on goal, and Chamorro is not having a good game. It's seven to two. Liga over Saprisa. What up? What up? The fans, the team, the fans gotta love me now. After this one, are you kidding me? All right, we can bring in some some guys. He's on a. I mean, if they're on a hat trick, Salazar is too. So I guess we can take him out. Salazar scored the hat trick. I told you, you're not going to lose your playing time. Torres is playing out on the left wing. Toch. Chamorro almost lets another one slip in. 8 2. 
Can we score an 8-2? Alright, last little sub. Let's see, Contreras coming back from injury. I suppose he can come in. Get his fitness full. Full and up and ready to go. Chirinos crossed in on the corner. Solis, it's 7-3. to three. I mean, we got a near post guy here, Torres. Guess he doesn't really know what to do here. He just, he's like, ah, come on, Torres. We just spent nearly a million dollars on you to break your release fee. And he's listed as a star player, too, so don't give him a 7 4. Get a tackle in. Vargas is through. Solis. On a 6.4. I'll still praise him. We created a load today. Seven points clear at the top of the table after 10 games. Top four make the playoffs in the opening phase. All right, 7 3. I'll take it. This is going to be a triple header. This is going to be a very long episode, so strap in. All right, it's the Central American Cup. In the interim, though, I got the board to agree to upgrade the training facilities. So we're spending a little bit of this money that we have. They're already great. Cost $1.8 million. So let's pull some money in this season. And then I completed my coaching course, and they wouldn't let me take the next one. But I finally have some leadership support. And look at the cohesion in the atmosphere. We're cruising. All right, let's win this game. Oh, we can throw everybody on the bench. Sure. Good, we need it, actually. Um, that's probably going to do... Oh, even Stephen Jones can come in. Cool. So instead of Perez, who's mad at me. Yeah, Penuelas is in. You know what, Stephen Jones? You're going to go ahead and play. Penuelas took a knock. Lobos is solid, but some players are maybe a little bit tired. Definitely rocking some yellows as well, but I think we just go for it. Maybe actually play Torres the whole game. Nope, he's not fully fit. But I think we can go with this. Honestly, maybe David. Even though he's training here, he knows that position. He's a boss. Let's do it. It's the Central American Cup against Real Esteli. Leave your mark. Both Saprissa and Herediano won their first leg games. Good luck. You're gonna need it. At home. Here we go. Pack stands. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, guys. They heard about the training facilities being upgraded. All the fans are really excited after we smashed Saprissa 7-3. Let's go ahead and just boss this game, too. Looks like we might get an opening highlight here. Neves driving through. Mario Neves lifts it up across to Montenegro. A little cut inside. A little mazy dribble takes the shot. Straight at the goalkeeper, though, who tips it over. Rainy, rainy day in Costa Rica. Near post header, goes across, ends up to Jones. On loan from Real Madrid. I just like saying it. Though he can't really play in any of the competitions. He can play in this and the Champions Cup. If we win this tie, we also qualify for the Champions Cup, so... Need to make sure we don't have a little slip up here because things have been going pretty well. There we go. David on the corner, the in swinger. Up to Jones, a little diving header away action. Mario, the right winger. Neves, top of the box. Just calmly working it around. They've got 11 men behind the ball. Afraid of our goal-scoring threat. 
which we have a load of. Slip player through, Neves? No, he decides not to. Very cautious play here. Ball over the top to Salazar, though. The header ends up in Muras... Murasaranwa? Can't quite tip it over the bar. It goes in the net. one nothing. And the nerves have been settled. Unless they pull one back here. Solis didn't look too confident there, but he just kind of watches it over. We'll grab a second. Montenegro's through. It was too early in the highlight for me to think that that was going to be a goal, and indeed it wasn't. Alvarez Neves, Salazar takes a shot and scores it. 18th goal of the season for Marlon Salazar. I thought his form might dip a little bit because he's waiting to see if I'm going to hang on to my promise with the game time, but that is quite the shot. I'm pretty sure we play the winner of that other game that's going on today. If we get through, which is the two bosses from Honduras, cross into Salazar, header down. He's already got a hat trick. Well, if this keeps going in this direction, this might not be a triple header because it's already going to be kind of a long episode. Do I need to show you the second leg? If they score here, which they do, all right. I was getting a little too confident. It's tough not to do when you've won, you know, 15 games in a row. Including a 7-3 over the second best team in the region. But they get an away goal. I'm not sure if away goals matter in this competition. I feel like they might. Salazar take a knock. Rogero, get in there. He got a hat trick, so I'm okay taking him out. Be nice to see Rogero get his first goal for the club as well. Today might be the day. Montenegro slips through, though, and we're up 4-1. to one. Yeah, we just score goals. Look, everybody's complacent defensively already. They're like... We can smash this team. We're not bothered. We're not worried. The other game's nil-nil. Four to one here at half. I've given them a couple opportunities, and again, Solis. He's on 6.9, but... Brilliant job, keep it up. Come on, I'd like to see Ruggiero. Cross in. Oh, no. Good save that time, though. Just about keep it off the line. Jones makes a nice tackle. And let's see what we can do here. Tack on a fifth. Is it Rogero? I'm not sure how to say that name. Rogero? Roger. Call him Raj. Crossed in. Suarez. He's not very good in the air. We're still on the attack, though. Suarez. Ruggiero was offside. I was going to say he with lightning speed, came back to the ball. But I think, yeah, I thought he came back from an offside position. I just want to see this one. Great effort from him, but, yeah, he's, I mean, they're both kind of standing on the line. He just scooted back super quick. 
somehow got to it and then scored it amazingly, but it doesn't count, unfortunately. I like the effort, though. Come on, Raj. There we go. Oh yeah, he's a left-footed guy too, isn't he? We haven't seen it yet this season, so I forgot. First ever goal for the club. It's 5-1. to one. We gotta make it 6? Yeah, I said it was gonna be a triple header. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys the second leg. If things get hairy, maybe we'll come back on it. But let's just enjoy these moments because we are in insanely good form currently. The major question is, where are we going to pull the money in from? We get pretty good gate receipts, but if I stretch this wage bill any further, we might run a little bit negative. Rogero again. I mean, there's hitting it down into the ground, and then there's that. 6-1. Ruggiero, look, look at this one. It was like a basketball trick shot. Bounce off the ground. He's like, bonk. And it goes into the roof of the net. What the hell was that? was something else, for sure. Okay, I guess we want to take a look at some guys. Alvarez might be out the next leg on a yellow. We're going to do, we're going to, we're actually going to go into this formation here. Take, actually Suarez can play. No, we'll take Suarez out. That's fine. Hall can come in because he's a beast. I need to change this. David can learn this position a little bit more. Martinez is kind of dead. For sure we want to bring in Torres, and we'll save the last sub. Let's go ahead and that's all fine. This is all fine. Take that off. Goals, goals, goals. Goals for days. How many is that in this episode? That's 13 goals and four against in two games. Neves is on a card, too. We might want to take him out. He's playing 8.6. Yeah, we're just going to do that before we score another goal here. Deserves a goal. Sorry. We're going to play the 16-year-old, Yara. Mario bossing it down the right wing. It's actually not really been that good this year, but that's compared to some of the other performances we've had. Trying to play it into the box there, didn't really work. But we're back at it again through Jones. Both strikers with a hat trick. This goes to Torres though, and Torres grabs his first ever goal for the club. He's off the mark. That was pretty. 7-1. Two games in a row, scoring seven goals. Outside of the boot, just a little flick. Oof. Oof. Oh, it's, the, the pain train just won't stop for Real Esteli. Sorry, guys. We're a team on a mission this year. And I think we might accomplish it. The next goal is to win this competition, so we're looking good value for that right now. So Prisa beat the team that was in our group that got through. I forget what their name was, from El Salvador. But they only beat them 1-0, I think at home too. Don't give them another goal. That was a powerful shot. So he sticks out a hand, but he's happy that that one goes wide. I guess we can praise again. We could probably do this as well. Stay on your feet. Go ahead and just waste some time. I 
I, I hate that. Just why do I have to hit confirm twice? It's that needs to be done away with forever soon. Are we going to score an eighth goal here? I mean, 7 1 is the infamous score line, but back to Torres and he scores another one. It's 8 to 1. 15 goals in two games. Sorry, guys, I know you wanted to watch the triple header. But I think maybe you've been a little bit spoiled for goals today in a couple games. So that's going to end the episode. It's already plenty long because of all of the goals that we just threw past Real Esteli. Holy. That's about as good as you're going to see. Salazar. Took you off because of the injury. Apparently, I can't say that, but you earned some rest. Everybody is just, I mean, everybody's got to be stoked. This is insane. Ruggiero, excellent job. Torres, he doesn't even know the role yet. He's already popping up with two goals. Olympia, they've got a couple good players, actually. That might be a tough contest. And that will probably be when we come back. I think it'll probably be around this time frame for the Central American Cup semifinal, but we're going to kick on here. We got the Cup semifinal, but I'm not worried about that competition. Anyways, so yeah, 15 goals, four, four against the two games. Hope you enjoyed that. We're cruising right along. And next time on the North American Journeyman, Unless they pull off some miracle and turn around a seven-goal tie. I think we'll be back for the semifinals of the Central American Cup. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Please like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Adios. Adios.